Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Simple Colors Cherry on Top, and I'm going to play with some striping tape and Orly Luxe. I've started off with Nail Teaks Formula 2. It's my base coat, and here is the amazing Cherry on Top. It is absolutely stunning, and it does dry matte, but I, of course, put my Posh Top Coat on it to get it to dry down quick. And here is some striping tape that a friend of mine sent me. I showed it in a recent nail mail video, and I'm going to give it a shot today. I don't know that I'm, sorry about the blurriness, I don't know that I'm technically using it the way it's supposed to be used, but like all of our tools and gadgets and things, you find what works for you, and today I'm going to make this one work for me. And I'm peeling that off the backing paper, and I'm going to very carefully try to line this up down the center of my nail. And I do have my little handy dandy tweezers out today. These are my Wistonia tweezers. And I'm going to use my fingertip just to smooth it out the best I can. Um, like I said, I don't know for sure that I'm using this exactly the way it was intended to be used. And what I'm going to do is there's a strip down the middle that I'm going to remove. If I can get my fingers on it. But I'm going to remove it and leave that blank space down the middle that's zigzagged. And here is Orly Lux. And it's mostly gold, but it does have a little bit of silver in it too. It's, it's a really unusual polish. I've had it for a while, so I thought I would break it out and use it for this manicure. And I'm going to cover the whole nail all the way to the, both sides and down the middle with the Orly Lux. And I'm being rather generous with it because I won't, you know, I won't, I don't, I can't wait for the paint to dry some before I pull up the tape. So I'm kind of being a little generous with my um, coat on this one. And I apologize, my camera is fuzzying out on us. We're going to try to get it to focus. There we go. And I'm going to use my handy dandy tweezers to remove the tape quickly before the paint dries. And you will notice I did have a little bit of bleed through, but I'm going to show you how we're going to take care of that here in just a little bit. I've decided to do this design on my middle and ring finger. I wanted to keep playing because, you know, practice makes perfect, um, or at least better. It doesn't always make it perfect in, in my world, but if it can make it a little better, then, you know, I'm going to keep going at it and hope that I do get better. I'm using the flat edge of my orange wood stick to just kind of smooth it out some. And again, I'm going to pull that one strip, the zigzag strip, from down the center. If I can get a hold of it, because you know this, this stuff is tricky. But I really love that somebody came out with something like this. I think this is really neat. That way you don't have to place so many different vinyls on your nails. And once again, I'm going to try with the orange wood stick again to try to smooth those little bumps out. And it might would have stuck better if I had had like a matte polish down instead of the glossy, but you know, I was using the glossy, so that's what we're going with today. And I know this, this, these colors, this color combo is not really spring or really summer or whatever but you know it's like my friend Gileen says I wear what I want when I want so I'm a lot like that too I will wear whatever I have the fancy for it doesn't matter what season it is and I had a little trouble with that one I think my <laughs> my hands was being a little not not holding that, that tweezer too good and I did do a little bit of cleanup with some acetone, but I decided not to share that. And here is how we're going to fix that little bleeding through that happened. I'm just taking a very tiny detail brush, and I'm using some of my base color polish. And look at there. You can't even tell. Again, I'm going to top this one off with my Posh Top Coat. And I did think about mattifying this one, but I just, I'm such a glossy girl, I just had to let it go. Plus, it just 
told me it wanted to be glossy. <laughs> and I am capping my ends. And I want you to notice on my ring finger, I do have some crusty skin. Hold on, it's out of view. There we go. You can see it really nicely. I'm having that like all around all of my fingers. So here in just a minute, I'm going to show you what I do to help take care of that, at least for my swatch photos. And as usual, we have to use the orange wood stick for what I normally use it for, and that is a little bit of cleanup. I use this Baroness X cuticle balm. I got the pink sugar scent and a little elf brush, and I just apply this around my cuticle area. And look, it, it's like butter. It, did you see that? It just disappeared. And I use this normally before I take my swatch photos. I like it because it mats down. And here is my final manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.